Joining us for more, Paul McCulley, former PIMCO Chief Economist, Senior Fellow at Cornell University. Paul, always good to see you. Thanks for, for joining us. Uh, I guess we've had sort of almost 24 hours to digest this now. Is, is the bigger part of this story the sort of way that this spat kind of became public as opposed to the decision itself? Yes, I think it's very unfortunate how it unfolded because I think both uh, Treasury Secretary Mnuchin as well as Fed Chair Powell are right. It's the issue is the matter of timing. I think it was really terrible timing uh, for Mr. Mnuchin to do what he did uh, yesterday. And I don't buy the argument that it didn't have a political favor to it. At the same time, I agree with him that ultimately it's Congress that should be in the grant making business and that the emergency period where the Fed and the Treasury had to work together in the lending business will come to an end. So I think it's a very unfortunate spat. Uh, but looking out six months, I don't think it's a big deal. You said you don't buy the fact that, that there wasn't a political flavor here. What do you, what do you mean by that, Paul? You, you think this was a deliberate attempt to sabotage President-elect Biden's economic tools? I don't think it was a deliberate attempt to do so, uh, but certainly they didn't have to do it now. Uh, and actually, they limited to a degree uh, the optionality or flexibility that the new Treasury Secretary would have. So that's what I mean by political, because a good, peaceful, smooth transition uh, shouldn't be throwing sand uh, into your successor's job. Uh, and I think that's what he did. So that's why I mean it had a flavor uh, of, uh, of a political action. Paul, but substantively, I don't disagree with the notion that Congress needs to be in the business of spending money because the Fed's in the lending business, not the spending business. Uh, if we look at the economy right now, Paul, does it need more fiscal spending or more monetary policy stimulus uh, in the short term? And, and which is more likely? Uh, and does this latest spat actually slightly increase the likelihood that the Fed will act at the next meeting? Actually, I think what the economy needs foremost is fiscal policy. Uh, monetary policy is all in doing everything that it can. Uh, and what this economy needs is fiscal transfers, actually grants uh, from Congress to Main Street. It doesn't need uh, sophisticated lending facilities uh, to support Wall Street. Uh, so what we need right now is Congress to act. Now, you ask, you know, what, what the odds are on Congress acting in the short run. I don't know. But as an economic matter, that is unambiguously the imperative. And I don't think necessarily at all uh, that it puts pressure on the Fed to do more uh, in December. In fact, if anything, I would argue uh, the opposite, because essentially Mr. Mnuchin just took away uh, some of the Fed's ammo, which he has the right to do because he has the equity uh, in these special purpose lending facilities. Shepard Smith here. Thanks for watching CNBC on YouTube.